In this video, we're going to be reviewing the Highboy S2. This is an economic scooter. I think you're going to like it. Let's get started. In this ride portion of the video, I want to do something that was a little more adventurous. So we're starting at a 1500 foot elevation. That's what the actual starting point was at the bottom of this hill. And we we're going to climb 360 feet straight up this hill. And it's about a mile straight up. And um, with this calculation, I didn't actually grade the incline using a app of any sort. What I did was I'm actually taking the distance in miles and the elevation distance or difference and using math calculations to figure out how steep the incline is and it averages about 5.5 percent grade so this scooter is pulling me which is about 170 pounds straight up the hill at about 9 to 10 miles an hour average all the way up now there are some times that i sat on the seat and i was kind of like using my leg and kicking on the ground just to see if i could help it along and i gave it an extra mile or two doing that but as you can see it went all the way up to 1860 feet right about here as i hit my top point elevation and then it's all downhill on the other side where we were actually headed to go get some breakfast and this hill even when we went over it became cloudy it was like a whole different type of weather uh, from being sunny on the other side of the hill to foggy and you even see that my camera lens has got a little misty as well and so this was the ride that we did going down the hill easily hit like 20 miles an hour and then after we had breakfast we decided to go up you can see the weather cleared up and I'm going up the opposite side I wanted to do this because to go down the hill I wanted to test the region and to see what that was like so you see I'm doing about 12 miles an hour here then we're gonna hit that 1860 peak point and once I hit that elevation of 1860 right about here this is the roundabout then you'll start to see me head on down and look at the speed that i start to pick up from here this is the top of the hill going all the way down this is what we climbed the first time and i wanted to go as fast as i can and then hit the regen to see how much it would recharge on the scooter itself i actually took a reading of it and just headed on down this hill going about 20 miles an hour now a lot of times i'm not actually hitting the regen because you know, I just wanted to keep on maintaining rolling down the hill. Otherwise, the regen braking is strong enough to slow me down to probably come to a complete stop. So I let the scooter go up to about 23 miles an hour. As you can see, I was sitting during that point also because it really does have a very stable feel. So that was the ride that I had going up and down over the hill to really test out the scooter speed, stability, and uh, the regen braking. And now I did not recharge it a whole bunch. But it did a you know decent job of actually just getting over the hill, which I was really shocked and pleasantly surprised. So if you're thinking about getting a scooter and wondering if uh, something like this can actually pull you around, uh, I would say it can probably do most people without a problem. This is a scooter I would highly recommend and it's one of the funnest uh, rides I've had in a while. Unboxing and setting up the Highboy S2 was really easy to do. Basically just take it out of the box. You're gonna remove some of the protective wrapping. Then we're going to just put in the handlebars into the neck and they provide all the screws and the tools you need to go ahead and put everything together. Once you have that all set up, then the next part is to go ahead and put in the seat post attached to the platform, adjust your seat, then make sure that's all tightened up. The next thing after that, all I need to do is set up the mobile app. And once the mobile app was set up and ready to go, then I was actually ready to ride. It was really a fast and easy process. So let's start taking a look at the specs of the Highboy S2 electric scooter. As we work our way up, you can see that it has your typical standard foldable neck that a lot of different scooters have. And this high boy is no exception as to being a nice compact scooter that can be folded down even with the seat on it. As we look at the front here and the deck that we have here, it's not a really wide deck, but it's a very usable. And of course, what makes this extra unique is that we have a seat that is also foldable and collapsible to make this a very, very small compact scooter. So let's take a look at what we have here as far as the spec schools. We have a 7.5 amp hour battery built into the deck with a 17 mile range. And of course, again, we have a seat here that is easily adjustable. This is how we actually fold the scooter without removing the seat. You can bring it down all the way to the lowest point, take off the safety at the bottom here, bring down the seat, and with that, you will be able to then bring the neck down and fold it over. And again, this has a safety latch as well on the side. Once that comes down, then you can hook the 
handlebars to the back wheel here to make it like kind of like a handle for you to carry it. As you can see, it just kind of latches right in there. There's a little hook on the, the top of the, the neck. Then you can pick up the scooter, lift it up, and just simply just walk away like this or walk upstairs or put it in a dorm or, you know, it's so compact at the way that it's put together. This is just a brilliant design and it comes with the seat and it's still foldable. That's just really cool. You can just simply reverse the process of putting back up the neck, locking it in place, doing the same thing with the seat, lifting this up here, and it is really nice and secure. Once that's locked in, you put in the safety to make sure that's locked down, and then you're gonna lift the seat to the position that you want to ride it most. Once that's in, tighten up the seat post so that it won't slip down. Once that's all put together, you're actually just ready to just get going and whenever everything's all put together. And as you can see, it only takes less than a minute to do all of that process of unpacking the scooter ready to ride. Stick up the kickstand and then you can start going. So taking a look here at what else we have as part of the scooter, in the back you see that we have a disc brake and it stops really quite well with using the handbrake which activates this brake. It also has a kickstand here right in the middle, very nicely placed, keeps the scooter stable whenever you need to have it parked. And here is a close-up of the disc brake that we have. Again, it grabs really tight. So because it's so sensitive, they also have a regen brake which I'll show a little later. Here we have the latch as an up close picture so you can bring down the handlebars to lock into. Here's the cable that goes to the front motor. We have a 350 watt motor on the front and very stable honeycomb tires that we have as well. It also has a shock rear absorption. And then as we look at the dashboard here on the right, we have our throttle and on the left with the red, we have our regen brake. Now looking at the flashing screen that you see, that is because of the camera frame rate. You'll see a lot clearer picture of what it looks like without it flickering when the camera is actually um, in a darker area and the frame rate changes. One thing I really like about this scooter as well is it has the charging port up on the top by the neck. So you don't have to bend down like some of the other ones where the charging port is underneath the scooter. Here you see me hitting the regen brake that actually hits the front brake motor and it actually puts some charge back in there. Now it's not a lot, but it does help slow the scooter down tremendously. I like to use that mostly as my brake. And um, that's the throttle that we saw me pulling there. And here we go is the regular brake. Along with that, we also have a bell. And the bell actually works very well uh, with this scooter. And with the brake, either you're hitting the regen or the handbrake, you do see that there is a light that flashes up into the integrated back light there. So you have a brake light. And in the front, we have a really nice bright headlight as well. So as you look at the front of the scooter, I mean, it's just very well designed. Oh, and I didn't want, don't want to forget to talk about that underside LED. So this is in the dark garage, and this is what it looks like when you have the scooter at night. Now, there's a light that comes from the bottom that makes your whole scooter glow to help give more visibility to you. And um, yeah, it's really nice that how that works. You also have the tail light that stays on. So as long as you have the headlight on, these lights go on and you can be seen a lot more clear riding around. And as you see, as I hit the brake, that this back light will then actually flash. So it shows that you are braking and you have a lot of visibility at night that headlight as well one thing i i like to say is that headlight is not adjustable as far as up and down range where it is is basically where, you, where it'll stay and as you can see this is what the display looks nice and clean and clear and even during the day it's nice and clear as well this is the high boy s2 scooter uh, it has a top speed of 18.6 miles an hour, max load of 220 pounds. And it takes about five hours to recharge the battery with an interesting rear shock in the back, which really does help to absorb a lot against your knees. The regenerate brake that we have in the front that you saw with that red switch there, it really does help to slow the, the scooter down nice and smooth and slowly. If you need to stop suddenly, you can grab the handbrake that's on the right side and that'll give you a very quick stop. Uh, the regen doesn't actually do a whole bunch in regenerating. We, I did take it down a very long steep hill, hitting the regen brake a lot, and it didn't recharge a lot, but it does help to slow it down with a lot of control. Now the tires are uh, 8.5 inch on the front and back. These are honeycomb tires, so they're solid tires, and that will keep you from ever having to worry about flat tires because these honeycombs are very, very 
uh, hard and sturdy tires that you don't have to worry about since there's no air in them now they do also have maybe a little less traction than rubber tires would be but they do a very good job uh, with riding on the roads i would say avoid some of the lane paint or paint of the lanes that does seem to make it have a little less grip that i noticed when i was riding around but uh, those tires work really good at 8.5 inch you can go uh, and a lot of even bumpy areas that you've seen that you'll see me riding around on the uh, the video we also have an amazing super cool mobile app with this where you can control the top speed the things like turning on and off the lights you can also track or turn on and off the cruise control on this as well and you can lock the scooter with that app so um you know it, it would be a little harder for someone to take of course they can pick it up and steal it so make sure you always lock it you can see stats and again control your lights your ride modes can also be controlled through the app but you can also use that center button by clicking it a few times to change the mode as well but that allows you a lot more diversity or flexibility with the scooter when using the the mobile app and i have some pictures here that show you how clear it is and and it, it syncs up really easily as well so uh, the only thing that you don't get with this scooter is the the bottle bag that you see here at the top but um and i also have my speedometer that you see uh, on some of the other pictures that that shows the gps tracking so all of the speeds that you are seeing when i'm riding is actually the scooter speed because that uh the overlay that you are seeing in the video is coming from the gps tracker that is attached to the scooter so these are actually real mile per hour ranges that you're seeing that it does get up to 18.6 miles an hour that you do see listed as a top speed so it's a nice fast scooter does have enough power the high boy s2 scooter this is a scooter you might want to consider it's a very economical scooter that doesn't have uh, economical performance it actually has a very good high-end or mid-range performance of a scooter for something like this great for commuting if you're within a 14 mile range and you have a place to char charge in between that i would say a scooter that would be ideal for like college students and or even just light commuting around city or town where you don't have a lot of space or someone just who you know i even like using this a lot to leave in my car or in my truck when i'm gonna go ahead and have to park further away and walk uh, when i have like street parking that i need to take so this is one of those things it's just so convenient to put in there i also use it a lot when i have errands to run just about two blocks down the street and this is just a quick way to get around it's actually very convenient and faster than you'd expect at 90 mile an hour on um, top speed so uh, i hope you like this review be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video